about you all, but I think I just found my new favorite couple. Nara and Lucky Blue Smith just did the couples quiz on GQ's YouTube channel. And there are some things that I want to break down to you guys from a licensed marriage therapist perspective. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for spinning the block and coming back. So I just got done watching this couple's quiz with Nara and Lucky Blue Smith, and I had to come on here and break some things down to you guys because she and her husband are really great examples of what a healthy relationship looks like, at least from the outside. So if you're not familiar with Nara or Lucky, they are both models. And I think they got into the industry very young at like 10, 12, 14 or something years old. But recently, Recently, Nara became extremely popular for her video, her cooking videos on social media where she be in full glam, okay? She got her hair done, her makeup done. She has on these cute little outfits, but she's making every single thing from scratch. And I'm not just talking about some mac and cheese and some fried chicken. I'm talking about things from scratch that you would normally just be like, let's just go to the store and buy it. She's making things like ice cream from scratch, Takis, the chips. She's making chewing gum from scratch. She'll be like, so my friend came to visit me today and she ran out of gum. And unfortunately she didn't want to go back to the store to get some. So I decided to make her some from scratch. Here's how I made it. <laughs> Y'all know she has that soft spoken, cute little voice. So if you don't know them, that's the quick and dirty version of who they are. The first thing that I want to talk about in regards to them is their chemistry. You can tell right off the bat that they just went well together. Sometimes we see couples on social media or on interviews and one person is talking over the other or it's just weird energy. And you're like, something is up with that couple. I personally didn't feel that with them. They went very well together. And you can tell that they're really in love. This was the first time that I actually seen them talk and converse because what she does is she has voiceover videos. So while Lucky Blue might be in her video or she might give us a quick glimpse of her baby, and they have three kids, by the way. He's like 26 and she's like 23. So they're still pretty young to be married, having three children and having thriving careers. So this is the first time that I've seen them truly interact and talk to one another. We've seen them on videos and voiceovers and them coming to Cali and traveling and on, you know, model shoots and things of that nature, but we never really seen them converse and talk in the video. So I thought this was really dope for them to converse and do that with GQ. The second thing that I want to talk to you guys about is them knowing each other really well. Oftentimes we see couples and they're like, well, what's your favorite number? What's your favorite color? And just those very superficial things they know about each other. But I felt like this was so much deeper when they were going through the questions and asking each other these things it was stuff that they really had to think about I'm talking about stuff from their past even things like what did I have on the first time we met or on our first date or when was our first kiss and you know it really required you to think back and pull some things out of your memory bank and if you really care and love your partner you will keep those things in your back pocket to be able to retrieve them later. So I love how they were able to answer those questions from like the past, old stuff, but also even the present. What is some of my current favorite foods? What is the best thing that I ever made for you? What was the first thing you ever cooked me? Those were some really great questions that allowed them to see if they've been really paying attention to one another. They did that well. You can tell that they wanted to learn even more about each other. I mean, they're still fairly young and very early on in their marriage and so there's just so much more that they can explore and learn more about so i think this is just the beginning of them learning each other and they're going to be able to go to that next level very soon before i move on to my third point it also felt like this wasn't a chore some people feel like oh i gotta learn my favorite my wife's favorite color oh i gotta figure out what's his favorite uh, clothing brand you know like all of these different things it's just kind of like oh I don't really want to it seemed like both of them got joy out of learning one another and remembering things from their past so they can use that for their future the third thing that we have to talk about is their non-verbal communication so these are the things that they weren't verbally saying I noticed that their eye contact was right on point they were looking at each other gazing in each other's eyes even though they were sitting in two separate chairs with a little bit of distance obviously for or filming purposes, you can still tell that their body language was positioned towards their partner. They were giving their partner every single thing they had in that moment. And this was evident to me because not only were they facing each other, but they're smiling and they're engaging and they're having fun. That told me so much more about truly what happens in their marriage behind closed doors. 
I really don't know what's happening in their marriage behind closed doors, but I've been a marriage and family therapist long enough to be able to pick up on things that the average person has not been able to. So for me and what I have seen, this is going really well so far. But before we move on, I need for you to, oh, let me say it in Nara's voice. Can you please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more content like this in the future. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, please. The fourth thing that we have to talk about is their verbal communication. You can tell that this is really how they communicate at home. It didn't feel like this was just showboaty or just because they were being filmed. It seemed like this is how they rock and roll on a daily basis. And that was really dope to watch because you can tell that she was so affirming. I believe in the beginning, the first maybe one to two minutes of that video, they both were nervous. I can tell. I mean, I do a lot of media as well, so I can pick up when somebody is a little bit you know, nervous or apprehensive in the beginning phases. And then, you know, as the time progresses, they, they get a little bit looser and more comfortable. I felt like they were both nervous, but I also felt like Lucky Blue <laughs> was more nervous than Nara was. And she even said it at some point, like, it's okay, you're just nervous right now, which was so cute. It was just so affirming and encouraging. And it felt like they wanted the other person to get the answer correctly. Obviously it was like a little game and they were racking up points and all of those things but you can tell that she was like well that's it but think about another time that's old but what about something right now you can tell that she was kind of like pulling out those answers from him in a respectful manner that didn't diminish him that didn't disrespect him and didn't say man fool you don't know nothing about me i love that there was just so much teamwork even though this was supposed to be a little bit of a fun and friendly competition and last but not least the fifth thing before i give my final thoughts and my prediction on their marriage is that they were extremely playful i don't know if you guys realize that but they were giggling and kikiing and laughing and having just a really great time. And I've talked to you guys so much about this on my other videos where I talk about playfulness being an important part of a relationship. You don't have to be so serious and so stuck up and so buttoned up all the time. It's okay to have a little jokey joke. It's okay to make a funny facial expression. It's okay to say something funny. I think at one point, I think she said like, what was my nickname for you? And he said, daddy. I said, ooh. So just saying little things like that was really cute to see them experience or express. And even at the end, the very, very last few seconds, they did a little kiss and she was like, oh, I have on, you know, lipstick. And he was like, I don't care. And he just like went in and kissed her and they were very playful. So I thought that that was a really cute way to express their love. I mean, think about it. Every couple should have some inside jokes, some fun stories. And while obviously GQ is a huge platform, they have millions, I think like seven, eight million subscribers. Obviously the world is watching them. So they had to be very selective about what they wanted to share. But even what they did choose to share was really cool. It was really dope. It didn't seem like they were hiding anything and they were just wanting us to get a little tiny piece of what happens in their real life and in their real world. So my final thoughts on this is that I absolutely loved watching this little video. I think it was maybe less than like 15 minutes long, but oftentimes the videos that I do on this channel, unfortunately, isn't always from a positive perspective. I'm breaking down couples and breaking down movies and TV shows, kind of like from a licensed therapist perspective, but it isn't always something that's positive. Sometimes it's a little negative if we're being honest. And so to break down and to show you guys or to bring some things to the light from a couple who's doing something well, I got a lot of joy out of that. It seemed like a positive couple. Like I said, they are probably one of my new favorite couples and I hope to see them interact more outside of their social media um, in the way that they did on this GQ couples quiz video. Now, at some point, Nara said that when she first met Lucky Blue, she wanted six children. <laughs> They currently have three, like I mentioned before, but I think she gonna give them one more. I genuinely feel like they are going to have another child soon because their children seem to be kind of back to back. So we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. Please make sure to stick around, like, comment, subscribe, watch some other videos, and I'll see you next time. Be blessed.